Hello and welcome to a new video of Power BI Tips and Tricks. In today's video I'll be talking about the ArcGIS custom visualization in combination with the buffer layers. As you can see on our screen um, we have a map plotted with a lot of data points. These data points are actually uh, pizza places in my area which I scraped from Google Maps and imported into this uh, Power BI report. Um, there are two pins which are two possible locations of where I could um, open up a pizza place and based on this visualization I can make a smart decision on where are most of the other pizza places in my city. We can go to the left top hand corner to the pointer and we can select select locations using a buffer layer. When we select this option we actually can hover over the buffer layers and we can see it's highlighted. If I press this visualization on the buffer layer, you can see my KPI uh, changing to 14 businesses in range. This means that I have 14 other uh, businesses, of which most pizza places, that are within a 5 minute drive time um, of the pin I placed on my map. How this actually works, I will show you on the next uh, tab of this report. When we get to this report we'll see the same layout as the other page but without uh, ArcGIS custom visualization. Um, the ArcGIS, ArcGIS visualization should automatically be uh, imported into your Power BI uh, desktop version. If it is not or you're working with an older version you can press the three dots Import from Marketplace. You can either scroll through the maps or what you could also do is search for Arc. In my case there is no add-ons because I've already um, downloaded it and it's already included into my Power BI. So to start off I'll click an empty space on my canvas and next I click the ArcGIS custom visualization. I want this to be spread out all over my uh, report and to start off um, we have the option to use locations, latitude, longitude, uh, size, color, time, tooltips and find similar. The most important one for me is the location. I have a geolocation um, which is based on um, a little piece of Dux code I wrote which is concatenation of uh, name, location and I included my city name because all of the places are in my city. And as you can see we already get quite a few data points. Um, to color these data points based on the rating which I also scraped from Google Maps we drag the rating and we put it into color. As you can see our data points are now colored by uh, the rating they get on Google. Now the fun part. Uh, when we want to change our map, we don't do this like the usual in the paint roller, which is really uh, basic. But we actually go to the three dots at the right top and we press edit. When we press edit, we'll see a whole new uh, setting screen, which is uh, custom to the ArcGIS custom visualization. Um, <clears throat> the options that are interesting for us today are the pins, the drive time, and maybe the symbol style if you want to change how your data points look. In my case the circle is fine so I'm not going to change it. We're heading straight to the pins. The pins is the part where you actually add the locations that you want to uh, use as a buffer layer. In my case, I have a few examples of places in my city. As you can see, uh, two pins showed up on my map. To actually create the buffer layers, we go to the drive time option. In the drive time option, we can uh, select our cursor and we can hold control while we click both data points. As you can see two locations are selected 
and the search area can either be a radius in kilometers or miles or there's a bunch of options in there but what's interesting for us is the drive time if I select a drive time of five minutes and I press OK you can see we actually get buffer layers on top of our map immediately we can change the colors up a bit to make it a little bit more uh, clear which is which I like to increase the thickness of the outline size and now we can head back to our report and what we can do now is select locations using a buffer layer we click our current buffer layer and as you can see 14 businesses in range I'd like to thank you a lot for watching this video if you enjoyed my content uh, please subscribe and I hope to see you in the next one